If you're looking for a trusted and reliable source of news and information, check out my friends over at PatriotPost.us. A link for them will be in the description box. So when you head over there and subscribe, tell them that ABL sent you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan. And today we're going to talk about the liberal rag Washington Post excusing Ralph Northam for his racist yearbook photo. Now, there is a whole lot to get through, a whole lot to quote unquote unpack here as the cool kids would say. But first, let's start from the very beginning so you understand what's going on. In case you don't know who Ralph Northam is and what he did that has me triggered, let me just tell you a little bit about him first. He is the current governor of Virginia. Before he became the governor, he was a lieutenant governor under Terry McAuliffe, another Democrat, as is Ralph Northam. Now, a yearbook photo of him came out that featured a picture of two people. One was in blackface. Another one was in a Klan robe, KKK robe. And I'll place that picture on the screen before you. You see his name, Ralph Sherum Northam. His picture is right there. It's a car right there. And you also have this Klan blackface photo. First of all, this is not a high school yearbook or an undergrad yearbook. This is him graduating medical school. He's like 24, 25 years old. So this whole thing about, oh, he's young. He didn't know any better. That's not right. This man is an adult. He could have been in the military for like seven to eight years at this particular point in time. He's a fully grown man, graduating from medical school, becoming a doctor, which he is right now. He currently practices as a pediatric neurologist. So I'm not trying to hear this, oh, he was a kid thing, first of all. Second of all, when the picture first came out, he was apologetic, talking about, oh, I'm sorry, all of that in the third. Then he came out and said, well, I'm not really sorry because that's not me in the picture. Okay, <laughs> that may or may not be you in the picture, but it's on your yearbook photo gallery. If it's not you, then why is it right there? It doesn't really matter if it is you or if it's not. It's in your yearbook photo gallery. I'm not going to put a thing on my photo gallery that I don't want to be there. OK, why did you put that right there, sir? I've never heard an answer to that question. He just was like, well, that's not me. After he said it was and he apologizes. But I digress. A lot of people attacked him immediately for that. And rightfully so. The Democratic Party of Virginia, they said we can't support him anymore. We denounce him. Uh, a lot of liberal rags came out against him. Washington Post is one of them. They said at the time that he should resign. Now, all of a sudden, this tweet comes out, and I'll place that on the screen before you, that says, oh, we know we said he should have resigned when the blackface photo came out, but we were wrong. Excuse me? You were wrong? Why were you wrong to say that he should resign after this racist photo comes out? If this were Donald Trump, oh my goodness, like, there, there would be no, oh, we were wrong, we retract our statement. No. In the article that the tweet links to, they say Donald Trump is a race baiter. OK, so Trump is a race baiter, but I've not I've never seen any racist picture of him come out. I've never seen Donald Trump wearing a Klan costume or a black face or anything like that. The pictures I see of Donald Trump featuring any kind of black people at all are positive pictures, you know, uh, wearing medals with Muhammad Ali and Rosa Parks hanging out on the club with. Shabba Ranks and Super Cat, you know, back in the 80s, hanging out with Mike Tyson. I've never seen anything negative about Trump in the black community. I've never heard anything negative about Trump in the black community up until recently when he became Republican, ran for president and won. But I digress. My whole point is that this whole thing about, oh, we were wrong, would not be given to a person like Donald Trump as evidenced by the article they wrote about the situation where they labeled Trump as a race baiter. Now, in the article talking about Ralph Northam, they were defending him talking about, oh, well, he's contributed to black funds and he gave a speech in Hampton and the anniversary of the first slaves coming to America. He got a round of applause from black Americans, all of that in the third. Basically, they're saying that he's done enough to redeem himself. 
and the whole blackface thing don't need to worry about that. I don't think they're really worried about him being in the photo or not being in the photo, it being on his yearbook page or whatever the case may be. They're saying that he's done enough to redeem himself and they take back their original statement. Now, let's have this same energy applied to a man like Nick Salmon. Oh, I'm sorry, a, a, a boy, because at the time of Washington Post uh, defaming him, he was, what, 16 years old in high school? Let's not forget about that. Remember the whole situation in Washington, D.C., where these Catholic school kids are taking the field trip to the Capitol, hanging out, minding their own business. They're getting harassed by the black Hebrew Israelites. Then they're getting harassed by this old uh, Native American man who approached him and beat a drum in his face. Nick's just sitting there, stoic, not doing anything, not saying a word, not touching them, just standing his ground. Like, I'm not going to say anything to you. I'm not going to do anything to you, but I'm not afraid. Just for that look, Washington Post and many other liberal rags immediately attacked him. Oh, he's racist. He was blocking the weight of a Native American person, all this, that, and a third. After it was revealed that he did not do anything wrong, he was a victim actually in the whole situation, being harassed by these people. Then it came out with a statement, which was really poor. It was not an apology at all, or really even an admission of guilt. It was more of a, oh, well, we have seen more information and more statements that have come out, and this is what really happened. But nowhere in there did they say, we apologize, we were wrong, we got it wrong, we jumped a gun, nothing like that. There was no personal accountability at all. Just saying, okay, here is what really happened. But we didn't do anything wrong. That's basically what was said because they didn't come out and say that we were wrong or anything like that, like they did with the blackface governor, Ralph Northam. Okay. So you see pretty much what's going on. Ralph Northam, a liberal Democrat pushing for gun control, wanted to take Virginians rights, including black Americans, Washington Post. They like that. So they're going to support him. It doesn't matter. He could have lynched somebody yesterday. It doesn't matter. They're going to support him because he supports their political ideology. And if you want further proof that Washington Post are just basically a liberal rag, operating in Washington, D.C. This tweet on the screen before you tells the whole story. Mary and Peachmas, they're celebrating Donald Trump getting impeached right around Christmas time. OK, and you see all the quote unquote diversity in the picture. But that's a different story. And I digress. My point is that Washington Post are obviously uh, straight up and down liberal rag owned by Amazon Jeff Bezos. How can they not be? biased they're going to be biased in favor of anything amazon and for anything democrat liberal whatever the case may be anything that's conservative leaning right or against donald trump they're going to be against and it ain't just washington post obviously you have uh the clinton news network the crime news network uh, uh, cnn whatever they want to call themselves nowadays as far as full acronym is concerned they're in the bag for the Democratic Party and they are against anything conservative. Same thing with New York Times. I mean, there are so many publications, uh, both print and on television that are against the president. It's amazing that he's still here. You know, I remember it might have been Washington Post or one of these other, you know, liberal rags that came out and said Hillary Clinton had a 98 percent chance of winning. It might have been Huffington Post, actually. And then she got stumped in the general election. A lot of the same thing is happening here. Misinformation intentionally misleading to make you believe a thing that is not true. As I close, I want to say this. I want to see the day where we get true nonpartisan mainstream sources. OK, that's what I want to see where you just report the information, report the facts. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think that the Washington Post and many of these other posts and uh, publications print and television are biased against the president, against Republicans, against conservatives in favor of the Democratic Party and anything liberal. If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or do you think I'm just being uh, paranoid? It's not really that big of a deal. Everybody's biased. My thing is this. Even if you are biased, that could be all right as long as you don't just make up stuff or fail to acknowledge when you're wrong i'm the kind of guy that 
I'll tell you from the beginning, I'm conservative. That's where my view of the world is going to be. But I'm going to be fair. And if I make a decision or I say a thing that's incorrect, I'm going to come back and correct it, apologize and have that be that. I'm not going to have my pride get in the way or my viewership get in the way of doing the right thing when it needs to be done. In this case, Washington Post should apologize to Nick Salmon. If you're going to say we were wrong as far as Ralph Northam, who put the picture in his own picture gallery of somebody, probably him, in either the Klan costume or the blackface, if you're going to say that you're wrong for saying that he should resign, then you should also say you're wrong for attacking Nick Salmon for doing absolutely zero wrong. It's funny how the left always talk about racism and how bad it is in America. But then when they get caught doing the very thing, they talk about being bad all the time. They don't want to say anything. They will come up with excuses talking about, oh, well, you know, he apologizes and it's OK. I'm not trying to hear it. If you feel one way, feel that way all the time, not just when it's convenient for you to do so. But whatever your comments are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. Thank you.